About a month ago, I made a video demonstrating the accessibility of a few menus from popular page builders and themes. In that video, Oxygen didn't fare so well. Shortly after that, Elijah from SoFly reached out to me to show me something that he had in the works for an updated site navigation element, and I have to admit I was impressed. Well today, Oxygen announced version 4.3 beta 1, which contains this new menu. Elijah sent me a sandbox to check it out, so here are my first impressions from a usability and accessibility perspective. Keep in mind, I haven't installed this beta and haven't looked at the back end, so everything that I'm talking about is all just front end. Let's take a look. So here we are in the sandbox that Elijah sent me, and I'm just going to mouse around and see what the menu looks like. Hovering over the components, I can see a change on every element that I hover over. I can see that the current page is also underlined. And on our drop down, when I hover over, the drop down comes down. And hovering over each of these also changes the look of it. Okay, so from, from a mouse perspective, that all looks pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the keyboard test now. So I'll come back to the beginning of the page. And as soon as I go into the page, what I would expect to see would be a skip link. Um, but that really doesn't have anything to do with the menu. It has more to do with the, with the way that the page is crafted. So let's keep going here. I get to my site icon. And then after that, I see the skip link. Um, so that seems to be uh, somewhere inside the nav element. I'm not really sure where. Tabbing again, I can see my tab indicator. Uh, so that's always good. And I'm just going to tab all the way through. Uh, the drop down does not d open up automatically, so that's what I like to see. And I can get all the way through the menu, and it goes down to the hero section. I'm going to do shift tab to go backward, and that all works as expected. And now we're going to use the keyboard to go through the drop down. So we've got a top level link here, and then we have a separate button for the drop down. I'm going to hit enter to open that up, and then we can tab inside of it. And it looks like we have a second level menu uh, that works the same way. I'm going to hit enter to open that. Awesome. And when I hit tab, it closes the menu and goes to the next the next top level menu item. We'll go backwards and see what happens. Now I'm going to hit uh, I'm going to go backward all the way out the menu. Make sure that it works the same way that way. Yep. And when I go backward, the next thing that uh, is focused is our uh, drop down button again. That's what I want. And I'm just going to make sure that the escape key works, and it does. So from keyboard navigation, that all looks pretty good. Next thing I'm going to do is open up a screen reader and see what it sounds like. NVDA speech viewer. I've got this nice and big so we can see what we're hearing. And I'm just going to uh, navigate with the keyboard the way that somebody would using a speech viewer. Oxygen. Go to Oxygen homepage visited link. Main site navigation, navigation landmarks, skip to main content visited link. List with four items home visited link current page. So there it's announcing my list and it's saying that I'm on the uh, homepage. About us visited link. About us submenu button collapsed. And we could hear that we were on the About Us link, and now we're on the About Us uh, button. Contact visited link. By now link. Great. So let's go back, and we will navigate the submenu now. About Us submenu button collapsed. Expanded. Collapsed. So that announces the collapsed and expanded states correctly. Expanded. List with three items. Our services ranked number one in the nation link. It's announcing my submenu well. Our products top tier quality at affordable prices link. Our customers, our customers are our future link. That's great. And I like that it's not only announcing the uh, top level menu item, but it's also announcing the description below it. Our customer sub menu button collapsed. Expanded. List with one item's customer case study link. And it handles the second level menu uh, very well. About a sub menu button collapsed. Okay, so that all works pretty well. And I will close the speech viewer. List. Our customer close closes the NVDA speech viewer desktop. Next thing I'm going to do is open up DevTools to resize this window. And we're just going to take a look at it. And we're going to take a look at it using the uh, mobile menu. So with, key, with our mouse, opening that up works as expected. No problems. Let's try it with the keyboard. Open. As soon as it opens up, I've got the close button targeted, so I can close it. And navigating with the keyboard does everything that I expect it to do. The other thing, let me just point this out, is uh, when I'm here in the dropdown, hitting escape, closes the drop down, but does not close the mobile menu. So that's good. And then I can hit escape again to close the mobile menu. So that's a nice little uh, feature that they put in place. Now let's take a look at the structure here. And we'll come all the way up to the top. All right, so here's our navigation element. Inside of there, we have our button and this is for our mobile menu. 
we've got our skip link. So that is inside the uh, navigation element. You know, again, this should be the first link on the page um, technically, but again, it has nothing to do with the menu. It's just uh, probably the way that this page has been created. We've got our own onward list. And um, it looks like we're using alpine.js here uh, for the JavaScript framework to handle all the smarts of the menu. Uh, alpine.js is a very good framework. Um, I actually created mine using Alpine as well. Um, and if you go to alpine.js and look at their components, they've got this drop down component with a nice little tutorial on how to create it. Um, you can't take this quite as is. You've got to modify it a little bit to uh, make it work well for a menu. Um, one of the things in particular is that this doesn't handle hover. It only does click. Um, so making this hover as well as click is a bit of a challenge. And uh, the oxygen menu did a great job with putting that together. But when we see all this stuff in here, this is all um, Alpine logic. So we've got our, uh, it tells us what happens when we click outside of the menu and when we focus in and out, um, when the, how the mobile menu works. Then we've got this big X in it thing um, with all sorts of stuff. And I asked Elijah about this, and he just said that it's because of the way that Oxygen works. Um, it's in there. It doesn't hurt anything. I'm not complaining about it. Uh, when I looked at it, I was just a little bit, uh, I was scratching my head going, hey, what's this? Um, but yeah, I have no, no problems with it, no, no concerns. All right, we come down here. We've got our first list item. And again, we can see some of the logic that's um, built in for Alpine. Um, so that's kind of fun that we can see exactly what's happening. And this is just a boring list item, so I'm gonna leave it be. And we'll go into the second one, since this is the one that's gonna be a little bit trickier. And here we can see that we are handling uh, key downs, focus ins, mouse overs, mouse leaves, all that crazy stuff. And we're gonna expand this, because inside of it, we have our button, and this is what I wanna pay particular attention to. So the thing is with this button, I wanna make sure that um, our aria expanded equals false changes to true when it's open, which it does. And then when it closes, it should go back to false again. Perfect. And we could also see what was happening with the unordered list inside of there, which is our submenu, that it was adding the class open when it's open and taking that class away when it's closed. The other nice thing about it, and this is something that they did with alpine.js, is uh, for the label here, they're labeling it with the parent menu item. Um, so we can see what's going on here. We've got this aria label item dot title, and it, that's what's grabbing it from the parent menu item and creating our aria label that says about us submenu. So all in all, I think Oxygen did a great job here. Um, all the suggestions that I had, they seem to have implemented, and I've got absolutely nothing to complain about. Navigation menus have always been a weak point inside of Oxygen, and I think this new element really takes it to that next step and really improves the accessibility. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you later.